everyone, Tim Collect Jurassic here with another Mattel Jurassic World toy unboxing. I have the latest wave of extreme damage here in my hands. These are, uh, in the U.S. anyway, Walmart exclusive line for Jurassic World Dominion. And this second wave has a Trociraptor Tiger, as well as Genodectes Cirrus. Uh, I'm imagining that's how you pronounce it, but feel free to correct me in the comments. But I have both of these figures today to unbox and do a little comparisons too. And of course, we're going to be talking about the Atrociraptor Raptor Squad. Now we can finally complete it since we have the other three. See how those stack up against the uh, original Raptor Squad. Owen's Raptor Squad, of course. But we'll also be taking a look at Genodecti Cirrus as well because this is such a cool all-new figure with some really cool... Um, kind of uh, design features as well as paint as well. And of course, both extreme damage figures have that fun battle damage feature too, which we can take a look at as well. So really cool stuff to look at. Uh, nice little tight unboxing with just two figures today instead of like a massive unboxing like <laughs> I've, I'm going to be doing on my channel here pretty soon. So let's go ahead and get started with Genodecti Cirrus. Uh, again, these are all figures you can find at Walmart right now. Uh, I found these ones in store just hitting that first wave. Um, I think this is actually wave three, right? The first wave was Polaris, uh, Velociraptor, and Dimetrodon. And then wave two uh, was uh, Pyroraptor and Quilmosaurus, which are just hitting store now alongside this latest wave, wave three, Genodectes and Atrociraptor. Sorry, I thought this was wave two, but I forgot that both waves arrived in store at the same time. On the back of the packaging, you can see um, how the down damage works. The other figures um, that you can get in this line, they got uh, Atrociraptor and um, Pyroraptor back here. Um, and I always love the extreme damage uh, packaging compared to the regular Dominion packaging because it has sort of this fiery um, background versus the uh, normal night background that the other toys have. So worth noting how unique it is. Let's go ahead and get Genodectes out here. Let's go ahead and snip these plastic holders and pull the figure out. And there it is. This is an all new one from Mattel, a, a figure that, a uh, species rather, that we haven't gotten yet. Um, I gotta say, this is an, a heck of an awesome debut for this figure or this species because the coloration on this figure is awesome. I don't know if you can see, but it's got this really cool blue head um, that goes down to the neck and kind of feathers out into the body. But then the blue comes back on the legs and all throughout, it's got some really nice details that really fine pebbling texture that we see a lot um, when you get up close to these figures. Um, smoother on the belly, but uh, very uh, finely detailed throughout. Also has these sort of like scaly stud rows on the back of the body too, which is really fun. Then the head of course has this really bright red crest, which I'm guessing there's some some paleontological evidence for that. Maybe not, um, but it looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of Yang Chuanosaurus or even Dilophosaurus a little bit too, even though it's just one crest there. But you can see this thing just has fantastic detail. See the little eye paint there too. Just really cool. Of course, the teeth and the tongue are painted. Articulation-wise, I've always been impressed with these extreme damage figures because they have the double-jointed arms that rotate back and forth and in and out right? And the same thing with the legs. Um, well, I shouldn't say same thing. They rotate back and forth. They don't rotate out, but the arms have the extra rotation. Then like all the Mattel figures this year that don't have an action feature tied to their biting, you have this really smooth uh, neck joint that works really well. Um, and you also have uh, the jaw that opens and closes too. So really nice figure. Um, and then it also has the uh, extreme damage. So you can click that and it turns, can you see that? Turns red. Yeah, my lighting in here is not the best. Here you go. So you can see the uh, the red, sorry, I have the, the, if I put it closer to the camera, you can't really see it in the shadow, but there you can see it turning from red to the skin color. And even the skin color has, um has texture in there too. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see the texture. So they even match the skin texture of the body and then the blood's a little rougher looking. So double-sided, both sides, which is fun. Um, it's there if you like it. I, I mean, I, I prefer excellent sculpts like these without it myself, but it also doesn't ruin the toy for me. Um, I know we're gonna be getting another Genodectes uh, for Dino Tractor, Dino Trackers, not Dino Tractors. For Dino Trackers as well, um, that's going to be another figure coming out. So there'll be a repaint of this species if you um, 
want to pass on this extreme damage version but why would you i mean the colors are fantastic it's a really cool figure so that's genudectes got all new figure but let's go ahead and talk about a Tyrannosaurus um because i do want to talk about the full pack now that we finally get tiger here much like the genudectes we got the same packaging we got uh tiger showing how the battle damage works on the back, the other figures in the wave, yada, yada, yada. But let's go ahead and get Tiger out. Take a look at how she, I, I said a she? Are the Atrociraptors a female in the movie? I'm not sure. Take a, but we'll take a look about at the whole wave of Atrociraptors, whole pack, um, since there is a, a pack of four of them, but a really cool figure right out of the box. It is a different sculpt than the other Atrociraptors kind of a little bit more of a standing pose which we can do some comparisons here in a second um it's got this really deep darker red color throughout um not quite like the tiger raptor um it looks like in the renders where it literally looks like a lost world raptor this is a little bit deeper in color but the white really pops you got the white jaw with a little bit of blending on the neck and then you have these white feet too that look really really um contrasted against the rest of the body so a really nice sculpt I don't have, to, don't have to show the detail, but I will. Always got to show on these Mattel figures because they do have a really nice um, scale detail throughout that looks really, really nice. Um, and then it's also got the uh, articulation. Like I said on Junior Dectes, the arms um, spread out. They can spread out and rotate, which lets you do some really cool poses. It's also got the legs that, that um, move so you can make Trosseraptor look up. And then it's got the the um, jaw or the sorry the neck that turns around. See, look at this one. You can do a really cool turned around pose. And then of course the mouth. It's got the tongue and teeth painted, so you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. He's waving. See, um, that's what's nice about Mattel figures. Even the basic figures, not the Hammond Collection ones, have some really basic but. Um, effective articulation in them when it's not compromised by an action gimmick or something. Um, but yeah, just a really nice, solid Atrociraptor toy, right? Um, I guess I should mention the scan tags too. Don't forget those. That Those pop up on both of these figures um, back on from the tail. So there's the scan code for Genudectes and Tiger Raptor or Tiger Atrociraptor. Um, they all have names, right? Um, speaking of Atrociraptor names, let's go ahead and get the rest of our uh, Trosseraptor squad out here on the screen. You remember from the movie, they all came in these uh, these cases in the back of back of the truck, right? So I've uh, took it upon myself to <laughs> to buy a bunch of these because I like it to be sort of like the movie. So now we have all four here. Of course, Tiger is going to be in. Uh, its own cage. And we also have Sonya here running the show. All of the Atrociraptors can finally be reunited. So Tiger's already out. We'll go ahead and get, looks like red is coming out. That's what I love about these boxes is you can, just like the movie, they can all hang out in the uh, in their boxes. You can even see um, red has a different sculpt than Tiger. You can see the, um, the arms are totally different. Um, these ones are more posed up. The legs are different. Uh, the uh, the tiger has sort of like, almost like a bent leg pose compared to, see this is red, and then the bent leg pose on tiger. The arms are pretty obvious. The head looks very, very similar, if not the same. And why wouldn't it be the same? I mean, they are both atrociraptors. So um, I don't think there's any big change there, but the, the posture of the, you know, the posture of the dinosaur, as well as um, like the major like arm bends and stuff are, are unique. Ooh, Sonya fell over. So now we got uh, Tiger and Red. We also have Ghost, which I think is sort of the unofficial leader of them. It's at least one of the more popular designs and merchandise is Ghost. Ghost has the same sculpt as, um, as uh, Red over here, so no no point making comparisons there so now you got a uh, tiger red and ghost and then last but not least we have pantera breaking the mold here coming out in a crouch pose oops sorry sonya you keep falling over this one came with the uh 
Owen Chase pack. So it's a crouching pose, but it's actually a pretty cool crouching pose because you do have that articulation on the uh, on the neck. But um, as you can see, it's totally different um, than uh, the new Tiger I just unboxed. But it looks looks nice with all the rest of these. So at long last, we finally have the full Atrociraptor squad, if you will. Um, go ahead and push their containment vessels back. Have the full Atrociraptor squad ready. Sonya's got ready to sick them all on you. We got uh, Ghost, Tiger, Red, and Pantera at last together. I was really excited to get Tiger because I can actually complete this awesome squad. So pretty cool um, that we finally have all four Atrociraptors. But uh, I did want to do a really fun comparison. I think, you know, I, I, I personally would want to see is sort of how these figures stack up against the Raptor squad, right? I mean, that's what they're sort of like the anti-Raptor squad. At least in my book, they are. So um, we got Blue and Blue and the gang to bring in to here next, and of course we'll keep uh, we'll keep the the handlers the handlers uh, at the ready as well. Um, so let's go ahead and set these up so we can see everybody with Sonya here in the foreground. All right, now let's bring in some Raptors. Um, I you know Mattel's done a lot of different Raptors. For the Raptor Squad, a lot of different paint jobs. These are just my personal favorites. Um, this would be uh, Echo. So this is the Camp Cretaceous version. I always dug it. I thought it was kind of a, a fun rendition of it. And then we also have, of course, Blue. The Battle Damage Blue has always been my favorite. It's got really nice articulation and, uh, and paint detail. So we got Blue over here. And then we also have... So get blue st st stood up correctly so we can get a fair fight here. Then we also have uh, Charlie over here. That's Charlie. This is the, uh, the little swiping one. It's my favorite version. So Charlie. And then last but not least, we have Delta and the other uh, swiping, swiping Raptor. <laughs> That's Charlie, or Delta, sorry. So we got Delta, Charlie, Echo, Blue, versus uh, Tiger, Red, Ghost, and Pantera. Uh, oh, and of course, we can't forget Owen. Owen is the uh, the leader of the Raptor squad. So this is really cool. We get to finally see all of them, you know, all facing off. Didn't get to see that in the movie, granted, because <laughs> I think most of the Raptor squad is dead, right? Blue is the only survivor. But it would have been cool to see them fight face off against each other, right? I guess we'll only ever be able to do that uh, here in toy form. Um, but hey, it's made for a cool video, right? Of course, I cannot forget before I close out, Junior Deck De Cirrus is a cool figure all on its own. Nothing to do with the Raptor Squad, but I loved the coloration on it and sort of the unique crest and all that. Really fun stuff um, all together. But, um, but yeah, this was a great wave from Mattel for extreme damage. Again, you can find it at Walmart. Just keep a look at it and you'll be able to find both of these figures. But uh, awesome stuff. I do think that's all I got. Um, again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.